Hello guys, Son of Beast here, and today I will be doing the next matchup as of right now for the next commentary. This will be the Avalanche facing against the Dallas Stars. By now, their, their two teams have a lot of great uh, matchups in between. They have a hard one to try to take an inbound and try to go back with the flow. Right now, Colorado Avalanche have a 2-0 lead series over the Dallas Stars. The question is for the Stars. Can they fight their way back and make a, make a 2-1 game in the series? Or will they have a 3-0 lead for the Avalanche and then finish the game off in Game 4 before advancing to the next round? Well, we'll find out after this. Right now, I'm the next commentary and right now on the sideline, I will have is Tusk 2 and on the center ice, I will have is OJ standing by. Right now, well, I'll be back here with a post-game show to finish this part of the game. And without further ado, let's get the game started. Enjoy the third game, folks. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here along with Test 2, and this is the NHL of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Period about to be started here at the American Airlines Center. And with Colorado Avalanche, we start possession and we are underway. The courtesy lineup is being here as followed. We have is Miller. Across the man, we have is Huskinen. Then across on the right left side, we have is Robertson. Then it's Joe Pavelski right towards the center. On the other hand, we have is Lakonen. Lakonen right over to Mark to McCarr. And it's Nathan McKinnon. Across on the back of the hand, we have is we have is Nachushkin, and we have his toes. The starting goaltender will be will be starting with Alexander Georgiev. Alexander Georgiev is one of the uh, very toughest players in the game after playing for the last season with the New York Rangers. But now this moment is turning to be one of his own, uh, one of the living lives that he, uh, he has played. Now his time offer will be playing here with the Denver, Denver Colorado Avalanche. Audinger is the starting goaltender for the Dallas Stars. Across from the other hand, we have now is well, tipped off. Toast swings to Comfer. Comfer looks like he might be accepting the fight, but he may not be able to have that one puck delivered. While he's able to make that clear, it's very not hard to try to get it over this, but it's not enough to try to make an option. Comfer right toward the airway. Stars will take their possession on defense. Makes a swing over to Toes. Swings to Comfer. From the backhand, we have Rantanen. Little swing off, push off at the kick for Rantanen. Take a little bump out of it. Then back to Lundqvist. Heskinen right over to Dantanov. Moves inside. Comfer takes it away with the puck steal. O'Connor with the puck shot. Trying to rebound it, but it's stopped by Ottinger. Ottinger, one of the only uh, better plays in this game after a regular season. Their team right now is in the first and second seed. It's very not hard, but now for the Avalanche, they're back in first right now. They definitely have done it a lot much better in the Central Division to make that one a hard one to make an impact. They've got to do something else here to try to make it stand, stand clear. Because if the other players have it around the new bend, then they don't have anybody to make that one an option. Segan across. Braves got the puck here across the offensive zone. Cogliano. Sutter takes it over. Segan over to Marchman. Marchman over to Sutter. Sutter reaches across into the offensive zone, make up the save, and it's stopped here by Georgiev. Georgiev, as right now, new hook that's in, in the release bit. Fires the puck across to Bram. Bram misfires it. Now we'll send all the way back over to the Colorado zone. Now they make new changes. Johnson over again to Newhook. Give it to Rodriguez. Over to Malgin. Malgin swings to Johnson. Shot! Good look at the target and it's Ottinger with the save. To Bram. Takes a shot. That gloves the save here as Ottinger takes a hold of the puck. We got the faceoff coming up with 13.27 to go. Players are set, ready to take the inbounding for the offense zone. 
Score still nothing in a zero as we are underway here in Dallas. McKinnon wins it. Johnson blocked the shot here. Petruski right over to Hunt. Trying to take the pass over. Olafsson takes it over. Now Dummy. In the entry zone is Omni. Johnson takes it away. Petruski goes down. Lakota will try to recover the puck here, but he avalanche to, to the Stars territory. Hunt right outside, back over to Johnson. Swings off to McKinnon. McKinnon trying to make that one an easy look, but the puck is sent all the way back. Need to make new changes out there. It's not very going to be easy to make that one a save. Because if you don't have the right puck, you're not going to make that one as the same to save. What a great play here. Olafson with the puck, with Tommy! Oh, good little stop poke checking away here from Georgia. But now Comfer on Lindell, swings over to Hankapa. Shot, stopped again. Tommy shot, stopped again by Georgia. Two times stop, really gotta make that one clear. Puck's in all the way back. Comfer will deliver it. With a shot, Nito. Deflect it off, we try to recall the puck here again. With Carr, toes. Stick lifted. Higgs back over to Robertson. Near the midway of the period is Robertson. Right toward the back of the net. To Higgs! One timer went off timing. Now swings to Comfer. The Avs pick up their way in the offensive territory run to make up another new change. Oh, this fires it. That turns out to be an off call. Well, they can't be leaving out with the puck, leaving alone from the outside of the zone. You gotta stay with the focus out there. It's very difficult to try to maintain, and not enough to make that one a call. Icing is the call gear for Colorado as we got the place off coming up. With the call, we have his, we have his paintbrush, OJ, standing by. Terrell Robertson making that one to make that one a good play. He's got a dial in to make, to make a snipe shot of ability. He was able to make that one clear. And with that one turning to be one of the heavy takes that he has ever done before, he's making his own snipe on the goal. Brantman keeps it on with that take to take feed on his sketch. He makes that with a clear vision. He can open, look for open, accurate passes and go back to the offensive zone to keep them right in the line. Those two are very aggressive. I'll be keeping an eye here on one of the players with the next part in the goal, though they're going to be very tough to try to keep up in game three. Guys, back to you. Here's Robertson. Oh, man, a stop made here by Nigeria. Heskinen blocked the shot by Comfer. Miller with her across in the middle of the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Jurgen with the glove save. Now goes back the airway over to Malgin. Colorado regains the group in offense zone. Back again is Heskinen. Back to Segan. Segan regrouping the puck. Now swings over to Marchman. Marchman swinging over again to Pavelski. Pavelski to Segan. Blocked it away by Confer. I mean, Toes, I should bet. Well, he's got a great look of a stop of a play in bounds to try to take up the deck. They did. He's really well trying to keep that one in good hand. New book reaching over to Bram. Bram moves inside. Ottinger up on him. Rodriguez stopped by Ottinger. Ottinger will try to hold the puck here with only 6.43 to go. Still no score this one. Now with the win, here's Bram. Bram over to Guerrard. With the shot! Must save me by Ottinger. Makes a good stop to try to take over the inbound to try to hold the puck. Now the players are set, ready to take it inbounds. Score is still zeros in that game. Now the other man wins it. Lundvest, right to Sutter. Sutter swings over to Dandanov. Dandanov in the corner. Block the shot here as it goes up and around the board. O'Connor will try to swing it from here. Moving a man. Taking a big in the inbound, well shot, and scores! Eller with the first goal in game one, in three, and they have the one nothing lead for Colorado.
Now that's an accuracy passing. As Eller was making a good save to try to put it inbound, he had that right timing. That was a better player that he has able to make the successful run to hit that goal. Lars Eller has his first goal at 551 remaining. It's a 1-0 lead for Colorado for the start of the first period. Now with Robertson. Here's Lumbus to Johnston. Johnston rolling up a toward it. Rebound a two-time stop by Giorgio. Move the clear to deck and puck out of here. Scoop up along the board by Sutter. Trying to make an inbound. Lekonen. Wait right with the pass. The two gets stopped made by Ottinger. Ottinger was really keeping his own pressure to keep the eyes on the player to move out of here. They're really trying to keep the focus. Now the players are set, ready to take the inbounding in the offense zone. McKinnon wins the faceoff. Hunt to Johnson. Johnson! Shot blocked ahead. Hunkapas got it down with the rebound. And it's taken away. Trying to take it over. Ben! Reaching it! Good poke check here. As right now it turns back the airway for Colorado. Here's Nuchushka. Nuchushka on the other hand in the corner. He takes the back pass to Hunt. That goes with the bad pass that goes to the offside of the call. They need to fix it. They have to start training it up there a little more. As with the other players really trying to keep it in bound, I mean, don't let it loose. Try to keep the puck in straight ahead and make it carry on. Don Hanoff's got it out to the cross in the neutral zone to the offense. And Johnson with the puck away. Try to move it around. Move it in front. One timer blocked away with the heavy traffic. Three minutes gone by in the first period, and Colorado still got a great start here in the first period to try to hold the puck inbound. Here's Hikapak. Shot! Scores! First score in the playoffs in game three. They got the tie game. Hikapak really had that goal in there. When he had his own timing to try to put around on Georgiev, he was able to try to make a release bit. Hankapa says, I know I've been training very hard to make that goal to hit the stop puck in the head. But it's not easy if you're going to try to save the puck again and go back with the airway. That means that it's a hard way to try to put it inbound and go back with the offense control. Hankapa got a great good look at the angle to try to pick up the play. I'll be keeping an eye on him for our next run of the goal. Back to you guys. Rebounding stop again by Ottinger. Right behind the net. Robert goes over to New Book, back over to Toes. We're passing down, 90 seconds to go in the first period. Makar outside. Move around with the spin move. Take the shot. It's stopped again by Olofsson. Now here's Heskinen. Heskinen swings to Fosca. Try to move it across. In the middle now, Fosca. Pass the flick it and it goes off of Makar. Passing a minute to play in the first period. Renton will take his own time. Try to move around the puck. Battling for the loose puck into the offense territory. Comfer, swing to Neto. Comfer, backhand shot made by Ottinger. They still have a lot of more time to give that one a worth credit run to make that one clear. Now we're ready to take the face off with only 16.2 seconds in the first period. Comfort wins the face off. Graham outside with the shot. That's stopping the flick it away. With Dallas in control, Robertson will in the neutral zone, will fire the puck away. And that will do the first period. Heikapas tied the game up. They now have ones. We'll be right back after this. Second period about to begin as a tie game score releases for Colorado and Dallas. Right now, Dallas takes possession, and right now we're back in the American Airlines Center. So glad you joined us here as we got the second period starting now. Pavelski, Lakonin takes the puck away. Back over to Nachushkin. 
The Chushkin Wakes finding a player to the corner. It's stopped by Oninger. With a good start in second period, Oninger receiving a couple of saves here in this home game. They try to regain the group. Yeah, he's really well. We'll try to keep that one in there. Inbounding the player, it's hard to make him in possessive play to make that one more count. Toast of a car. Move around the middle air. Rebound again by Oninger. They'll have to stop the play here with 19 12 to go as two players are on him for Colorado. Now they reset their cross up here in the offense zone. The score is still tied in 19, just a great shot here to maintain their way with the goals. They did. Honestly with that one, it looks like the Dallas Stars have already definitely did one against the Colorado Avalanche sometimes around in the uh, regular season. And the penalty called here on Dallas. Right now this will be a slashing call and they'll have to stop the puck in play. Right now the ref is going to make a whistle and that will be Joe Pavelski heading to the penalty box. First power play coming up for Colorado Avalanche. Right now the clock is down to 18.40 to go. Newhook wins the faceoff. Turon! Oh, what a great stop here by Ottinger. Got a good timing on there. Might need to keep that one fast. And Foxka with the fast break. Going for a short-handed. I'm in a rush. Oh, Georgia made that stop. No penalty called on Colorado. Comfort moves inside. Turn him in the pass. It's Hantapod with the release. Maintain its pressure on. Now he swings to Comfer. In New Hook. New Hook in the corner. He finds toes outside. Poked it away. Races the puck back. His toes recovers. New Hook with the puck. Now swings to Comfer. 39 seconds for the Colorado power play. Toes outside. Goes to Rodriguez. With the shot. Pretty much to the bound. One behind the net. And it goes up into the netting and goes out of play. With the tough one we have is OJ standing by. Miko Rantanen is receiving it up of the tape to tape feed of the score. He can find an open accurate passes to make the its way. It's tough to make the run, but it's not easy to try to make that one as for Ranton himself, give that one a clear run. I'll be keeping eyes on him with another goal and update to keep his eye on the player on the other side. Guys, back to you. The man advantage was very not tough because you know that was very hard for Colorado to try to maintain their group. They got a great stop here on defense and great play for Ottinger. He was able to make that one a good play. And Joe Pavelski, he's out of the penalty box. What a great stop here for the Dallas. Maintain its pressure. Here's Pavelski. Pavelski in the corner. Stop! Seagan! Save made by Giorgio. Lakota right over the guns to Rantanen. Rantanen move around in the end. Stop made by Oninger. Pass broken up. Dantanov takes it over. Dallas regains the group on offense. The Avs pick their way up into the offense zone, now making their way around to the Stars territory. Eller, battling along with a loose puck. Here's O'Connor. Trying to reach across. It's taken away by Ben. Dantanov's got the puck. Oh, smash down from the true skin. Really pick it up to pay it over again. Need some payback out there. They're really aggressive. Gerard recovering the puck here in the offense zone back to the Stars territory. Now new changes. Colognio. Cogliano. Move, move around. Rebound. O'Connor as Ottinger with a stop. Dandanov's got it now. Reaching across is Eller. Eller reaches inside with the backhand. We had a little slip out here, but no penalty call for Dallas. Very easy play. Keep that one in mind. They're not really impressed. Eller swings back to Brian. Brian looking for an open player to Eller. Recovers to Rodriguez. 
Rodney Goose, Johnson, Hunt. Rebound in the puck there. That takes a stick flip and Lundvest will take it over. Ben fires the puck across the net. Now back the other way. Russ swings to Rodney Goose. It's Johnson. Pick the shot. and stopped by Georgiev. Robertson, Johnson, left save made by Georgiev. We'll hold the whistle in play with only 12 minutes to go in the second period. With the tough players inbounding, the score is tied up. As you look at the comparison in between Ottinger and Georgiev, what is the higher key of how the goaltenders been did in the regular season? Well, they're really they're, they're trying to make that when they come back with a switch. They never really caught on at that point. Because of that one, they really have been spreading things along the board and trying to regain the group. They're not really trying to make, maintain their way as for Georgiev was making a lot of saves in the season. They pushed their way to the first seed inbound, and then for the Stars, they were losing it. They were in first place, second place, well, second seed in, in the Central Division. They were really unclear to try to make that one maintain their way but they're not really trying to pick up their own inbounding and try to maintain its pressure. They're not going to try to keep it going and they're going to have a hard time to maintain their pressure way on the board. They've got to find somebody else. And for as for Georgia and Ottinger, they really have nowhere else to go. they got to keep it going. Deep pass to Comfort. Comfort moving in the middle. What do I kill? Oh, stop me by Ottinger. Now, Ottinger was able to make that save. He's got a pretty good eye contact. Really well played to keep it rolling. Toes back to McCarr, passing the midway period in the second. Comfort swings off over again to Toes. Toes reaches across the net. Oh, one time stop made by Ottinger. Graham reaches over to Neto. Neto swings to Gerard. Back with a slap shot. Right to them. Run behind the net as Lindo recovers the puck. Back pass to Gerard. Tape the tape zone for Bram. To Rant to them. And that's taken away by DeAndre. The, the Stars regain group offense to take their own time on offense to take the run. DeAndre. Marchman. Stuck away here by Gerard with a stick lift. Nichushke. The pass to Bram. Shot! That shot went too wide as Gerard will try to regroup the puck in offense. Gerard. Looking for an open man out there. Lakota shot. Trying to rebound here by Nichushke. Look at it in the middle. On a terrific stop. 7-17 left to go in the second period. Very tough to make that call. Now the teams are ready to take their offense zone. The score's still even, no score changes yet. And right now, Hankapal with the recovery of the puck. Now swings to Olofsson. Seven minutes go by in the second period. Switch to Dami, with the rebound. Johnson, good save here. And DeAngelo would almost take the puck and would have that goal, a tough one. McKinnon, swing across. The ankle breaking leads up to a failure as Olafsson gets him out of here. Yeah, he's really like trying to get him out of here. Very tough one to like, make that call. Very play unpredictable run to try to make an ankle breaking move. It's very hard to try to keep it in bounds. But don't try to judge on them. They're really like going to pay the price out of it. Now with the puck, here's Lungvist. Swings the dummy. Take the smash right toward the board. Newbook reach across, and Newbook would have seen that coming. A stop made by Ottinger. Dummy pass broken up. Foxka poked it away. Back over to Rodriguez. New line change for the Dallas Stars as Lungbest keeps it going. Olaf to Johnston to Ben. Shot blocked away. Olafsson will try to regain a group on offense. Now Hunt will try to regroup their offense back the other way. Maljan in across to the corner. Trying to take a pass pass. O'Connor receives it. 
Back to Toes. Back over to get to O'Connor. Thank you to Sean. That stop by Ottinger. Mounted to Toes. Back over to McCarr. McCarr shot. Rebounded by Duva. Won't get enough in here as they took it away. Johnston. Trying to stop the puck in pressure. Johnston to Sutter. Flings the puck to Dantanov. Johnston with the puck. Now swings to Dantanov over again to Ben. Ben trying to receive the puck. Back to Sutter. Pass broken up. Ben recovers it. Now moving her way back to the offense zone in the avalanche territory. Just a shot stopped made by Georgiev. With a rebound. Well saved here by Georgiev. Good catch on the end play. They're really trying to maintain their way to go back to the other side. O'Connor right over again to Nicolagno. Cogliano. Eller back over again to Gerard. Gerard moving in. Who you shot? Stop by Ottinger. We'll hold the play with 2.14 to go in the second period. They're still getting a little mean and mean aggressive on the run. The streaker, they're really having a hard time, but they have to try to make the in-play inbound and try to stop the main. Now Miller to Heskinen. Heskinen over to Robertson. He's now in a neutral of the offense zone. Poked it away. Now Gerard will swing over to Neto. He's on a fast break. With a move. Backhander won't make a connection feed out of it. Confer will try to reset the group with 90 seconds gone by in the second period. Brilliant! Shot! He fucked it! Oh, the Ottinger saved me again. Graham moves in. Front of the back shot at Stop A by Ottinger. One minute left to play in the second period. Still no score in the second period. Move across the middle. Try to regroup an offense with a Colorado Avalanche. Keep the play going. Turbon moving over again. No play inbound. Ranson swings the comfort back to Bram. Bram. They pass. Robinson going to take it. And he will not get there in time. What a shot. And oh, stop me by Georgiev. What a play for a hustle of the second period. A lot of big saves for Georgiev and Binder. We'll be right back with the second period, the third, when we come back after the break. Third period about to begin in the ice at American Airlines Center where fans are going proud and loud and proud. This is where we finish off the third game before they continue playing in game four. They have it all down. We love seeing one of the players they have it all in raising of this game. They've got a lot of it right now, and one of the players this one of the keeping eyes on is one of the best, Joe Pavelski. They're really trying to maintain its way to make that run. Oh, Markkinen! Oh, went down hard, and it was a big collision to stop the Stars from shooting each other like Comets. McCarr, Eskinen with the puck now racing towards the offense zone in the Avs territory. Now Hintz takes it away by Nuchushkin. And a player going all alone. Nuchushkin leaves it out behind. McCarr with it now. With a slight edges, moving in front. Stopped again by Ottinger with this big save. Nuchushkin. Back to Gerard. Fires the puck. Ottinger holds the chest with the puck and will get the clean sheet of ice ready for the faceoff. Now the players are set, ready to take the inbounding of faceoff. You can feel the energy of the crowd. It is still a one to one game. Now with Miller to Heskinen. We'll give it off over to Robertson. Try to hold with the puck. Cleaned up the puck around the net. Scooped it over to Rantanen. With the tape, the tape feed. Goes with the pass. Neto off the goal post again on the side of the net. And with the goal, Rantanen gets their lead up in front. It's now a 2-1 game. 
Oh, well, Ramsey didn't really have that one saved. Looks like the assistant captain is really putting up the bigger time or effort. You can clearly tell that Ranton was able to pick up the shot. When he had that one in, he had it deflected in. And that was right toward the net around Ottinger. That lockdown defenseman was putting up for Avalanche to pick up their run. But not for long for Ranton to make that one a huge stop. He made that one and helped the team come back toward the lead. They are really tough. They're not really getting up a momentum. And he scores! First goal for Justin! Back to back leads to ties. Johnston, first goal in the playoffs. Made that one a good stop to make that one a good run to tie the game. Oh, I want to come back to that. I got to pressure that one, son of beast. They really are a good team. But for now, for Johnston, they really got a good first goal of the playoffs. He finally got a good one to make the pass. He finally made that one in there. Without the goals in the first and second game in Colorado, he now has his own goal here playing at home against Colorado. But now the moment is coming down big. I'll be keeping it eyes right here. One of the games to keep it along the hedge. Back to you guys. Gerard back to outside. Make a move in front. Rebound, Ottinger with a big stop. And a bad pass for Graves here for Colorado. They'll have to reforce to regroup it again. Now Jeremy will head it off to Brian. Gives it over to Colagno. Cogliano trying to fix it out. Ottinger with a stop. We'll have to give it up to a quick look as 1507 is where we left off in the bird. Now with the win, Lundqvist to Marchman. He's a big banger! Leave a mark on the net, they really are trying to face things off. It looks like a Marchman was trying to like, go over the reach. But it didn't really stop improving of what's going on. They don't have enough to maintain their way. Icing whistle on Colorado. And right now, Icing goes to face off, ready to go onto the play. Now here's a puck. Sutter blocked a shot. Whatever the rider goose with the puck. Now in the offense zone. Take it away, ability. To do look. Restopping the ejection of the puck for Ottinger. And this one will stop the play with 14.08 to go. Now the team is looking for an offense score to pick up the run. It is still a tie game in a, in a game of game three. The playoffs are turning out to be inbounding for the Avalanche to try to pick up their own run. Now New Hook swings off to DeAndre. Taken away by New Hook. Trying to reach it across over again to Rudder Goose. Stopping the big moment is Johnston. Stick left it but recovers the puck. Hunt trying to regain the movement. Mountain. And stopping the moment is Marchman. He fires the puck. Clear the deck out of here. Johnson will give it over again to Rodriguez. Hunt recovers the puck now into the Avalanche of Stars territory. Copper will try to gain the momentum. Toes reach up across the Hunt. With an open shot. That blocks up in heavy traffic. And a big textbook save here by Ottinger. Copper! Melton! Stop by Ottinger! 12-14 left to go in the third period. They're still getting it stronger. Yeah, they definitely do. I mean, they keep an eye on that one. They're going to need to make a new adjustments for the team, but they got to get this thing on the run. They can't leave it open. They don't want that one to try to make them play a mound. McCarr, sharp edges has turned to be a sharp failure. Robertson, Toes takes it away after Comfers with the with the, with the poke check. Moving around the front. No, no. No play on that one. Kowalski gives off to Robertson. Trying to close the gap out. Miller will gain the group on offense with 11-10 to go. 
The Stars regain their group on offense in the Dallas and to Colorado Territory. Short stop made by a Georgiev. The two stay right toward the back the airway. Regains the puck. McKinnon shot. Unable to make the play as it was hit off the pad by Ottinger. Hope checked away by Hintz. Right towards Miller. Trying to go with the play. Crouch so low and it's stopped made by Georgiev. That really is going to be a very hard one to make a team. The contact shot's not very important. They have to do something else. McKenna, back in there, stop made by Ottinger. Now swing back over to Gerard. Now back to McCarr. Give it right back to Nutrushkin, back again to McCarr, over again to Gerard. Moving the puck back and forth. Still clipped in, the penalty called on Dallas. Not very good out there. They're not going to be successful to maintain. Lakota trying to retain group. Down to nine seconds, nine minutes to play. McCarr, shot went wide. Valley across. Puck keeps on going before while the delay penalty is still on to stars. Gerard to McCarr. Chuck tip. That goes out of play. Right now the slashing call goes on again. That will be Wyatt Johnson. Johnson in the penalty box. This is really gonna be a heavy nightmare for the stars to try to regain the group. They're gonna make it clean, but unfortunately, they didn't have the right moment. It made the group can change. The Stars are in the penalty box for the second time. And Colorado Avalanche are on the power play for the second time in game three. Now with the play, Hakapa. Gerard will take it over. 18 6, 8 16 to go in a second, third period. Roderick is shot. Turn the rebound in the front of it. And it's right side of the net. Rodriguez gives it off to Comfer. Toes on the outside. Trying to make a stop motion run. Fox Gun will try to clear it out. 7.43 left to play in the third period. Comfer going back over again to Rodriguez. Rodriguez, back in there. Stop made by Ottinger. Down, toes on the outside. Toes will swing it off to Rodriguez. Bad pass here, and this one goes out of play. New line changes here, need to fix it with the regroup. Rodriguez in the center now. Trying to get the pass, new hook, and Akapa stopped again. That's a good defense if they're trying to maintain their way on the run. They got to do something here quick to maintain their way. Rodriguez on the inside. He's almost ready to go for Johnston. Michushkin. Rebound the puck. Fosca takes it over. The man advantage is over. The power play has expired and that goes out of play with a with a puck in the crowd. Now they're ready to take the face off in the puck zone. Still a tie game. No power play goals for Colorado. Allen will take it over again it's over to O'Connor. Firing the puck again. Now Colagno swings off to Eller. Miller will take it over. Now here's Hintz. Swings it away. O'Connor clears it out. Regrading the puck along now after a no good whistle on ice. Graham swings across to Eller. Duran, chop blocked made. O'Connor, right back outside. Backhander, rebound the puck by Miller after a stop by Ottinger. Five minutes gone by in the third period. Very, very a tough team to try to make aggressive run to hit the player on a man advantage run. The Stars going on attack. I mean, this is really not fair to maintain its weight pressure. I know this is very difficult, but without Dallas Mavericks, I'm guessing that the players are going to try to keep it going out there and try to maintain their way that they can move up to the next round. Johnson to Bryan. Bryan reaches across. Chuck! Stop me by Ottinger. Just about four minutes to go by. Leaving the puck out of the neutral to offense zone. Eller, back the arrow away. New line change for the Stars. Eskinen regains the puck. Now swings to Ben. Ben fires the puck. Scoop it up along the board. 
Brian reaches the crossover again to Comfer. Going away for the middle, looking for an attacking. Backhander, stop again by Ottinger. Branson then swings off again to Brian. Brian, unable to make the play for Neto. Comfer, oh boy, he's going for it. Blocked away by the defender. To the Hakone, shot for the backhand, run wide. With the left hand, stopped again by Ottinger. Justin, over to Bram. Bram, with a move, denies! And it goes off the goalie, and this one will goes off the goal net with two minutes gone by. Now with the puck, we have his OJ standing by. Kale McCarr has an elite edges to maintain its way. The board is very that hard. Pressuring the game, it's a lot of key to make that one to the top and inbounding. They're not really to try to stick up with the puck, but it all takes the a sharp edges. As for Joe Pavelski, he makes that with a snipe goal to try to maintain its way up on the board. Now without one for Joe, Joe Pavelski, he doesn't have the right to me to do this. All it does turn out, he wants to give it up clearly and maintain its way on the pressure for the Stars to regain the group here for dialing on a player. I'll be giving you eyes on the two. With the tough ones in call, we'll have to see who will go with the next goal to break the chain. Back to you. McCarr on the outside, trying to regain the group. In the middle, Johnson, as McCarr regroups the puck. He choose to with the puck outside. Perrity, McKinnon takes it over. 38 seconds to go. Toes, with the shot. Oh, Ranger! Wow, what a big stop. They're all going to cheer for Ottinger because they all cheer and chant for him. They're really, like, wow, impressive on their set. 33.2 seconds in the third period. Now it's Lindvist. He gives it over to Robertson over again to Pavelski. Pavelski in the middle. Try to go for the lead. Blocked away. Rodriguez on a fast break. This could be a lead. No way to be found. Rodriguez trying to maintain its run. Shot. Rebound. Oh, stop made by Ottinger. Oh, they're really like putting up that one a heavy hit. They're doing a lot of good things for the moment for Ottinger. A good stop. If you're tuning with us for the next game, we have the Oilers and the Kings. Right now they're playing at Rogers or Place. So keep your eyes tuned after this game is over. Where's it in? Oh, nowhere to be looked out. And that will end the regulation period. Overtime. Let's get going. We're next after this. With tough two teams, Colorado and Stars are fighting for the win here in Game 3. They really are in a trouble situation to try to stop the pressure and go right around with the attackers. They're very a hard team to try to pick up the run, but without the questions concerned, they're really trying to show it off. Yeah, exactly true. I must say this to you. They're really a hard team to try to maintain a group. And with Colorado trying to go with the lead to hit the winner, it looks like the Ransom didn't have the right moment to go with the end of the game in the regulation period. This is really giving a hard time for them. Not a great sign, but it's very not tough. And be honest with you, they're very a tough team. And with that one, this all comes down to overtime for the third period to the overtime period. Third game, about to see what's going to be if the lead changes. Will it be Colorado win or Dallas win in overtime? Decision starts now. Let's get going. In for the overtime period. About to be released, and we are set to go. McKinnon wins. Let's get the overtime started. Right now, here's McKinnon. McKinnon trying to make a move. Go with the ankle breaking. We group in the puck is McCarr. Robertson with the puck. Now swings to Hintz. Trying to reach in group on offense. Poked it away here by McKinnon. Rantanen. 
Go back with McKenna. Put the ankle break. They move. Stop by Ottinger. Good stop here for Ottinger to try to pick up the run in overtime. Yeah, they're very aggressive on that one. I mean, keep the play going. There's no way to be stopped out of here. Penalty call, and there you have it. They're going to lose the man advantage for the Stars, and now this could be it for the, for the Avalanche to win the game. Now the power play is on for the Colorado Avalanche. This could be a goal winner for Colorado. Now here's Lindell. We'll fire the puck away. 3.35 left to go. Gerard's got it now. Now toes back the other way. And going back the other way with the pass. Call for a stop by Ottinger. Nugent swings the toes. Toes with the shot. We go to the front, Ankapal with the stop. And goes into the visitor's bench, we got an odd play. Now they're ready to take on into the neutral offense zone. Score still tied once again. Sutter, trying to regroup the puck. Three minutes left in the overtime period. Toe swings to Newbook. Newbook on the attack for the win! Stopped by Ottinger. Gerard was able to keep that one going with the team. It looks like that Ottinger was able to try to clear the deck out of it. They are really trying to keep it up the fast pace. Here's Toes. Going for deflection. Stopped again by Ottinger. 30 seconds for the Colorado Avalanche power play in overtime. And two minutes left for an overtime period. This is really that tough. Be honest with you, they're not really going to try to keep it all with the same players at the same time. They have to do something else. Nuga, with the fast lock, Ottinger stop again! Wow, they really are a hard one to keep the pressure alive. All they did, they have nowhere to go. Ranton and wins it. McCarr shot! Stopped by Ottinger again. He's almost ready to go. McKenna, move around! What's a good stop by Ottinger once more. We're coming down to 90 seconds in overtime as Ottinger is a big save. Ah, uh, the go. I think that Ottinger might be the next one to be the three star players of the game. So it looks like he might be able to go for the win. Now overtime sets three on three. Now here's McCarr. Swings off to Rantanen. Off to McKinnon. Hintz takes it away. Right now their turn to make the offense go in. With a look, Roberson! Oh no, at the goalpost. McKinnon, trying to move the ankle breaking. Trying to reach across the round, it's not made. Read about the puck, scores! McKinnon, game winner in overtime in Dallas. And he made that with a good shot to make the ankle breaking. All team comes in for McKinnon, and what a disappointing run. And that was the end for Dallas. He was clean with McKinnon's run of his own aggressive, maintained its run. He beats Ottinger with a, a lockable stop. What a game. And that will end the game here in Dallas. With me and Tessie along with OJ, this has been a presentation of a Stanley Cup, Stanley Cup playoffs in the first round. And now, with that one, it's time to close off for the three star players of the game. They're very tough and aggressive out there, but maintain a way that Ottinger was able to try to maintain its run. He was excellent to make the game. The third star goes out to Mike Cannon. As for Alexander Georgiev, makes that one of 26 saves of the game. Very good job to play on offense. Miko ran to them with the first goal and assist in the hit. All it did turn out was go hit the goal post and deflect in. And your first star goes out to, with one of the best, Jake Ottinger. He's doing a great, fantastic on offense to pick up the strategy. And with that one with a stop with the shot blocks and save, 
He's trying to move it around to take away the offensive opponent run over Colorado. Right now, Colorado extends the series 3-0. The next one could be it for Dallas Stars, a win or go home. Here's how they did with the total statistics on the board on the right hand, with 11 hits for Dallas Stars, 8 for Colorado. 16-53 for time on attack and 335 for the Dallas Stars. 90 possessive of the percentage for the passing and 76 percentage for Colorado and Dallas. Right now 21 faceoff wins for Dallas Stars and 15 for Colorado Avalanche. Only 6 minutes for the power penalty kill for Dallas and a power play for 6 minutes for Colorado. No power play goals for once again for Colorado as now it does come out to be the end of the third game in Dallas, Texas. We'll be back with the fourth game, and right now the next game up, as we finish game three, we have is the Oilers at home facing against the visiting team of the LA Kings. That will be the next one coming up right after the break. See you all again next time for a while as the NHL of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. This is Son of Peace, and thank you for tuning in. See you next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.